There's not much better than a brand new climbing wall and there's not much more fun to be had in a brand new climbing wall than a friendly competition on brand new boulders. This week we got to try out the new climbing hanger in Reading and we took the opportunity to go head to head on some choice blocks. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video into a brand new centre. This is the brand new, unopened as of yet, climbing hanger in Reading. It looks amazing. It looks Huge very new. space, so many different new angles boulders. of wall so many new boulders they've brought in setters from all over the country to like make sure that the opening set is you know like yeah absolutely on point so this just looks like there's such cool blocks mm -hmm. so we figured today to take you around the center and introduce you to this new space we would go up against each other and do a hannah head head. versus nathan on we're, I, we're gonna say four blocks we have very different styles yeah. quite different climbers, very different heights, which I think plays a lot into our strengths and weaknesses, or at least yeah. it does into mine for sure. Mm -hmm. And to even up the competition a little bit around the center, I think we're gonna get our friend, friend of the channel, Alex Waterhouse, to pick us out our yeah. four blocks to Keep compete on. From... Big moves, okay, so I'm looking for big moves and narrow compression. And a sit start. And a sit start, I'm yeah. just, there's loads of sit starts around. <laughs> right, the mediation, uh -huh. this red, Oh man. Sorry, Hannah. We're gonna do this pink up the corner because we did it earlier and it was good fun. I'm trying to I'm trying to be like balanced. We've got some big moves, we've got some close compression. It's quite good fun though. I feel a bit like a comp set. <laughs> this white, I think, and then one more. So we've got a steep one, we've got a bit of a jumpy one. We need a slab. And this red. Start on the white, over to the red jump. This slab as the third one, and then the steep Finish pink on one as the fourth pink. one. May the best climber win. Good luck. We have four blocks picked out for us by Alex, and he's also given us an order. So, block one is this white slopey hold, uh, slopey boulder. It looks hard. <laughs> it looks really hard. So, do you want to go first? Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> or do you want me to go first? I don't have to go first. This might be one of the ones that suits me a little bit. So I feel a little bit like I, I've got the opportunity on this one to make the most of my reach. Boulder one was a slopey compression block with a tricky heel hook to start. These slopers were so new that they stuck like Velcro, but the moves felt really insecure and powerful. This one's really nice on your left hand. Oh, really, not much on this top. Oh, that's so desperate on that top. If you can get that first move. Yeah. Did you go toe or heel? Heel for the first move. Yeah, I don't think I... Again, that's a height difference, I think. A heel will sink you a bit lower, but then it will make it further away. I can comfortably sit on that heel. Yeah. You might have to yeah. pop off the toe. The great thing about a new centre is that you don't feel like you have to brush everything. Like Everything's so sticky and pristine. Um, I said earlier, I feel bad putting chalk on the holds. I'm going to leave rubbery smears everywhere from my bad foot. Like. <laughs> yeah, brand new walls. Before we head into the rest of the competition, I'm going to transport you into my kitchen for a mention of this week's sponsor, which is HelloFresh. I was genuinely thrilled to work with HelloFresh because preparing healthy and nutritious food isn't always the easiest when you head to the climbing gym or the climbing wall most evenings and often get home late. But with a climbing heavy schedule, it's especially important to feel well, and that's been made really simple this week with HelloFresh. For this meal, I picked out a teriyaki sriracha salmon and ginger rice bowl, which took 30 minutes to serve up. So all of the goodies for this meal come in this pre-parcel package here. Everything you need is in here, already pre-portioned for you. I just need to grab the salmon, which I have been storing in the fridge. And then we're gonna get cooking. I've got to say, Nathan and I felt pretty pleased with ourselves to dish up a really tasty meal, even though we're by no means expert chefs. If you want to try out HelloFresh for yourself, you can get 60% off your first box and 25% off for two months using my code HannahMorrisB60. Push. I'm going to push with the right hand. I've decided. I'm going to rock, push, go. Maybe. Come on. I'm not too sure what I 
need to change. I think the heel felt quite a little restrictive possibly. Like I got to the end of the heel and felt like I was kind of stuck. So I, I'm, I'm toying with the idea of placing a toe and like pushing this way and trying to go up, but I don't know. I feel very, uh, um, I'm not sure which option is the best option. Nathan went off the heel, but I think it could possibly be a mistake for me to try and replicate Nathan's beta because he's 6'5", and I'm not 6'5". But maybe it just means I need to like add a little more, just give it a little more. Hair's gone up. <laughs> One more go. So I think this is so similar to the work you did with Alex a few weeks ago because this is literally <laughs> how to reach further is what you need. Yes. And everything that you worked on that video is probably some of the like. I also don't tips. know, I'm moving quite statically. So I like, I pull into this, lock it off, turn it to a press, lock it off, stay, pause, and then try and make the move. I wonder if I could. Go all in a one. Do you reckon that's worth trying? I'm gonna try it. You did the little hip sync thing with Alex where you like sunk your hips down and mm -hmm. went up a bit dynamically. Yeah. So next boulder, we've got a red, dynamic looking number. The hole that you're jumping to actually looks okay. Um, the rest of it looks like maybe a little off balance, so I'm going to read it, but that's quite a general way of characterising it. But I, I think maybe the, the tricky part for me might be the jump. Um, I've got yeah. like a good fresh volume to jump off, so hopefully I need to have a feel of the start position. So I'm reading roll over right hand, match, or like I'm not matching this one I don't think. Okay, straight over. Oh, stood here, it's a little blind. It is. Yeah, I think I'm just going to roll over right hand. That's the plan. <laughs> these, these are quite nice to be fair. Trying to read my feet and get a stock of everything before I go and read this so that when I'm stood under it, it's not blind. Because as I'm stood here, you can't actually see the hold, or at least I can't see the hold here. So I'm a little bit scared of the top as well. I'm not. Uh, focus. Don't they say focus on one move at a time? <laughs> That's your tactic. <laughs> Try not to think about it. Boulder 2 was one of my favourite boulders in the centre and started with a super cool and satisfying dynamic move yes. into a crimp Come finish. On. Okay, now on, you Hannah. start to regret not having read the top. Come on. Whoop. Come on. Come on. Come on, Hannah, you got it. Yes. Woohoo! <laughs> oh my word. What has gotten into you? That's really nice. The creaking. That was really fun. That was like just the right level, I would say. Of like, I had to commit, I had to go, I had to jump. But I knew, because I'm familiar with the hold, I knew that it was a nice hold to go to. So I'm proud of myself for giving it a go on that one. <laughs> Because normally my approach to dinos is something like and then I'll actually to be fair this is something that I always say about like fear of committing to moves I don't think there's anything wrong with so if this was quite a scary dino for me what I might try and do is like just tap it or get a feel for the movement but because we're in a comp it's obviously a slightly different pressure on. I wanted to get the flash because 
Nathan got the flush in the last one. So I allowed myself to go to a place in my brain that was like, I'm going to give it one go and it's going to be one good go. I'm so psyched for you. <laughs> Thank you. That's amazing. I'm a little bit nervous about this one now. I think I should have a reach advantage on this jump, but mm -hmm. something Hannah's really good at is deep lock-offs. And I don't feel like I ever really have to do deep lock offs. And that top looks like you really have to stretch across on your, on your arm. So if anything, that top half. Oh no, this is, this is bland. What well, might be more difficult for you, I suppose, actually, being so a longer this, person. That's what I'm looking no, for. No, it's more the, the, you're stood a lot higher. So you're back bending a lot more. Yeah, maybe. Like you can kind of see that it's the hold, the good bit that holds in line with this yeah. part of the volume. So you can kind of aim for that. Nice, come on. Go on, Nick. I'll try come and on. work my hand over to make the lock off not as big. One. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can't not smile mm. after doing that one. It's cool, isn't it? Really cool. Great block. Right, next. Good pick, Alex. Mm -hmm. I'm, and I'm kind of, I'm a little bit nervous because if anything, I thought Alex's first two picks, Sloper's big moves, I thought favours me. Jump favours me. But I'm only one up going into the next two, which I know are slab. No, yeah, we're on slab And now. narrow compression, which Hannah asked for. It's got to be my turn to go first now, isn't it? I think you've done two firsts. Yeah. <laughs> and if there's one you don't want to go first on, it's definitely this techie looking slab. I think you've played a bit of a blinder there. Technically, we shouldn't be allowed to watch each other climb. I think we've made a blunder here, but... <laughs> Close you your eyes and film. Yeah. Okay. Right, I... What are you thinking? Talk me through the, the vision for this. There's got to be an, like an upwards press on this mm -hmm. to stay into the wall. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes I, I struggle with blocks like this where the undercut, where like you'd normally be like that, for me, can be like yeah. trying to press up like down there. This doesn't look too low down for me, but that could cause a few issues. When I come out here, that might be quite low down. You've got a good crimp here. That's like a but really good flat texture edge. though. So when I was doing a warm up as well like over here, I did uh, see the, I saw the top hole. What, so you felt the holds already? No, no, I didn't touch them. I just looked. It's a high foot move. Uh, yeah. I almost feel like you have to feel out how high that foot's going to feel. Boulder 3 was a test of leg strength and balance with some smeary moves leftwards and some interesting presses and balance intensive moves to make the <laughs> higher slopers. No. I knew that was happening. I went out for it. I just got over it and was like, not enough. Well, I'm going to try not to give you anything away. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Come on, Hannah. Different beer at the start there, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How <laughs> have you run out of chalk after the first goal? 
I've been here for quite a long time. Hello. Oh man. I think I just need to trust the button. I just wondered if you could skip the foot swap at the start. And just go Very straight like this. We've got coming out on footwork soon where you did a bit of work on uh, the beer. Yeah. You're right. Oh. oh, that's got potential. Whether or not it goes in three goes, I'm not sure, but it'll go, I think. Any beta adaptations? Having watched the, the masterclass, <laughs> are you gonna... Can't say, I can't say I've picked up any what ideas about that I wanted to try. heel around the dual texture? <laughs> Just a little extra, a couple of I moves out this way. You never know. They're really good, uh, these feet, they're kind of slow, they're, they are good. Right? Yeah. But they just make you think because they're a little bit slippable. That's a word. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Go on. So I think it's just a bit of a um, a moment of like. Yeah. Nice. Go in for it. Come on. Go on. Yeah. I know I've got to get right over it this time. Did you just do that so steady? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. You were so steady. Um, and then it wasn't. So the thing, the thing that changed, I matched in the crimp, I think, didn't I? And then used my leg as like flag to. Do a step on the right. It's interesting how solid you made that move look. Really, like, I was aware of, like, really pushing my leg out to not swing out, like, really using my glutes. But I would be really interested to try and get my toe. I think you should. Let's, let's come back to that. Okay. Finish the comp, and then I think okay. you've you got to try and see what you can do on that, because those moves just all need putting together. Now you've got the positions. Oh, next block. Which one, one are we on now? Last one. Yeah. It's all lost. The con I've lost already. So our last boulder is this pink guy uh, on these block holes, which is up like the steep part of the wall, which I'm excited to try. I think this one, other than that, the red one there, this was the one where I was like, I might be able to get something on this one. This isn't like my kind of, I don't know, it just like spoke to me when I, I looked at it. It's got some nice small holes on, I think that's why. Oh, okay. So, uh, uh, Alex said he picked one that was like narrow compression. And I think this might be this one. It's like narrow compression up and around. And then towards the end, there's like a kind of rock around the side or maybe a heel is how I'm thinking I'm going to try and approach it. The last boulder was a lot of fun working on some small crimps and heel hooks of a really steep barrette. This piece of wall was probably one of my favourite oh, angles no. at the Come new on. wall and I really enjoyed the variety of climbs. Come on. Yeah, it's strong. Nice. Come on. Come on. Oh, that looks a bit scrimpy. Where am I going? Go on, go on, go on. Nice. Come on. What? Oh. The other one first, right? Probably left one first. <laughs> Anyone? Oh, I think you'll like that. I think you might be able to keep your... Actually, 
I'm not going to give you anything. I'm not going to give you anything. keeping my feet low is my tactic on basically Yeah, so I think you'll be able to keep the heel in for quite a long time. Okay. Um, yeah, that's good. I think, I think, maybe I can get that. This feels really precise because of how small these holds are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you sound like really smug. You're like, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's not easy. Go on. Okay. Okay, order of the hands You as well. make this wall look so much smaller <laughs> than it actually is. You <laughs> reach like this. <laughs> oh, order of the holds. I didn't, you know when you're like filming and you're kind of looking at, yeah, you don't you're really not get watching to in, right? properly. Come on. And this start position feels really close. Come on. Oh God. Come on. Yeah, come on. Oh, that's so scrunched. Come on. Oh. oh. I did what you did. It just felt like I had to go with the right. Yeah, it does. And, and I that think holds you could. rubbish. How did you stick that? Because the next one's the in the next one is good, right? Brought my right foot through here. Yeah. That was really close. I quite like that. It's just like I think you've got to get the heel there to keep you No. Like around rather than coming all this way. And, and it just left. felt it felt all wrong. Yeah. But it, it didn't feel like I could go left. Ooh. That's exciting. <laughs> <Yeah. Ooh. laughs> Right. You're absolutely gassed to school now, aren't you? Where I think, are we um, I think I'm going to switch it up and go, go for the left hand first. I'm actually paying attention to your beat at this time as well. Huh? Left hand first, right hand. Yeah, come on, Hannah. Oh, no. Yeah. Same again. No, we said go left hand. Come on. Oh, you've gone right again. Come on, come on. Come on, Hannah, hold it in tight. Yeah, 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 come on. Come on, Hannah. Come on. In tight, come on. Yes, come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh man, I went in with a plan and I thought I was going to go left hand first, but then... It just didn't feel like, it didn't feel right. I think I was definitely like coming on a green as well. So that doesn't really count, but. I don't think so. I think you might have been coming on the volume. Do, uh, oh, on your right side. Do no, you on my right side. Oh, but see. do you think that you would choose my way today? I'm going to try and go left, but I know you said you were going left. to try and go left. I thought about it and then I was there and I thought, I'm going to try and put a right heel on so that I can go left hand. It felt, well, the high right heel. Yeah. Is it too high? It felt too high. It felt high for me. I think some of what I find interesting on this problem, it's like smaller holds as well. Yeah. Definitely on this right hand side. They're all yeah. like, almost like chips. Yeah, they're small. They're not the kind of thing, I don't really they're good like they're crimping. Positive, right? They're not the kind of thing I crimp. I'm just kind of dragging them a little bit. Yeah. And I do think, or at least we find the difference between us, maybe because I am a lot heavier, I just don't, I just find I, I tire on those small holds a mm -hmm. lot. And you look so comfortable. And honestly, by the time I've done like two bumps and come up to these two, yeah. my hands are kind of going like, yeah. like one of the things that goes hand in hand with being taller, I think is you, yeah. you, you tend to be, um, to struggle on those small holds a little bit. I think and, and generally speaking, the taller you are, the more, possibly the more you, you're likely to weigh, because there's just more it's of just you. just more of you, yeah. And I think as well as not liking smaller holds, that kind of plays into the endurance a little bit. Yeah. Maybe that's, uh, you know, maybe that's just because I am not good at endurance. Okay, so it was a left hand first, definitely. Yeah, nice, come on. Next small hold. Go on, Nick. Come on. So I'm going to go yeah, right here. Yeah, nice. How's that feel? Go it on. still feels like I want to go, go right hand. Yeah, doesn't it? Try it. Go, 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 go. Go. Yes, nice. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Nate. Yeah. 
worked. Oh, but I think the way I did it, the reason I realized left hand is so hard, right, is because it's a really long way. Your, your right hand is lower. So it's a really long way to bump again. Mm -hmm. I can't just but try the same way again. It, so it just felt it. like a really big bump, but your feet go on really solid. Yeah. I think I'm maybe more used to like trying to uh, skip moves or like do climbs <laughs> not the intended way because I can often work a way around. When your reach is like bigger than most people's, yeah. often things aren't. Yeah. Often there's opportunities, let's call them. Yes. I, so, uh, call me crazy, but I considered matching on this X call and going right again. How do you feel about that? Do you think? Almost doing it the whole thing like in a rec climb rather than mm. a compression. Yeah. I think the balance could throw you off, but not if your right heel stays on. I mean, realistically, I'm just going to get on and try the exact same thing that I tried to prove. So you said that right heel felt scrunched, but I think I managed to get it on. Come on. That is not ideal. Come on. <laughs> what to keep this heel on? So I went left again. It's just huge. I realise now it's huge. Come on, come on, Hannah. Yes. <laughs> come on, Hannah, come on. Yeah, hold the balance, come on. <laughs> come on. Oh my God. Come on. Yes. Oh, it's really good. It's good. Keep working up. Come on, Hannah. <laughs> no. Come on, go for it, go for it. Yes! yes. <laughs> I've forgotten what happened in our uh, competition now. I, I won and... <laughs> <laughs> you flashed them all. Okay, so that brings to an end Nathan and my competition at the Hangar Reading. Do you want to share the scores? Can you remember the, the scores? results? <laughs> you flashed two of them, right? I think I flashed two. Yeah, and got the other two. And got the other two, either second or third go, and it was a free go limit. So we were doing some sort of point scoring. I can't remember exactly. I can't remember exactly the point scoring. I think <laughs> you topped two, right? Yeah, I think I topped two and couldn't quite get the red, so I might have a go on that before we leave. And yeah, definitely want to go back for. Couldn't make much progress on the white. They were all really good level for us, I think. They were all, yeah. I think you could get them all. Good split, definitely. for sure. Good variety of like movement, I think. And a couple of differences, I think, showed up as well in our different styles on the different blocks, Yeah. which is cool to run through. Yeah. But yeah, it was a good session. Good fun session. Yeah. All right. Well done. Thank you very much, everyone, <laughs> for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.